Hey everybody, it's Nosh43 here. Um, my name, as you're going to see, is Alex Gorelia. It's right on there. It's awesome. Pretty cool. Can now upload videos over 15 minutes. Ooh, big whoop. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I'm here because I realized I haven't done a review in quite a while. Um, so I'm going to do a quick little review on my monster eye beats because I have nothing else to review right now. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, got these from a friend, actually. He had bought them, I believe, up in New York or something. I don't know, but I got these for about $30. Um, they're normally $100 or so at Best Buy, you know. Any of the major retailers will sell them to you for about 100 110 whatever it is, plus tax. Um, now, when I opened the case up from my friend, they, they were all put in nicely and where they're supposed to go. Now I have them in my hand right here. Um, but as you can see it comes with a quite a uh, selection of earpieces. You can see all that there. And you've got, you know, you've got your manual, you've got all that important stuff. Don't know why you need to include a manual for a pair of earbuds, but I guess you do. But anyway, so there's that. And uh, what I like about this case is I love to use this case when I'm traveling, put them in there, as opposed to carrying them in my pocket or anything. Because they are, even though I only got them for $30, they are expensive earbuds, and I do, uh, I do like them. Um, basically, it's, the case has got magnets here and here, and as you close it, they'll clip eventually. Right there. And it gives it the little extra security to keep that closed. You need a little bit more force to open. So, that's pretty cool. The box is also pretty sturdy. You can probably stand on it without it crushing. Now, here's the actual earbuds. Um, now, I know these are real because my friend wouldn't sell me fake ones. Um, and because the receipt was in the box. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, and all the other things that you know how to tell how if they're real or not but you know I like this because it's got nice metal right here uh, it's got the rubber guide to stop it from fraying at the ends of this it's very nice um, it's gold plated obviously very nice I love it uh, the cable wraps up around three fingers for me rather simply and it just goes and it goes and it goes to the Y splitter. Now the Y splitter I like just because of the way it looks and because it's not a piece of crap. And now also you've got obviously you've got your little thing here to you know if you want them joined right down here you can just plug that in there or if you're only using one you can slide that all the way up and or well not all the way up you can slide it all the way up to that and just have the one hanging off barely or put it in your shirt, whatever you want to do. So I like that. So let me just put that back. Alright. And that's metal as well. Um, most of this thing's metal. These, r this right here is the control talk button. Um, you got your volume up, your volume down, your pause and basically whatever else you're going to use it for um, like you can use this for Siri on an iPhone or control talk on an iPhone whatever you want to call it um, in the back here you can see it's got the microphone so you can talk uh, use this as a uh, wireless or not wireless but a um, hands-free device um, I've done that plenty of times um, obviously up here you've got that beautiful B uh, for the Beats logo. You've got the rubber looks like a rubber band I guess, really small rubber band around the end of that so it's not just like metal painted red, that's actually rubber uh, red rubber there, it's pretty cool. Um, now the Beats themselves each, well not the Beats themselves, the um, speaker housing is uh, color coded actually. The blue, as you can see there, there's blue there that blue is for the other um, earbud. That blue is for the left earbud. 
And as you can see, it also says it's got the L. You probably can't see it, but it's got the L. And now, pick up the, uh, the right earbud, and it's red. And you can see the R there. Maybe you can't see it. If you can't see it, I'm sorry. It's the lighting in this camera. But it's got the B. It's got that red ring as well. It's very nice. I like the red wire. Very hard to lose. Um, as you can see, they all wrap up nicely around three fingers. And recently, though, I've been using a carrying case that I got from a pair of $14 cost earbuds. Came with it. Actually, they're more like $21. But you know it's it's got the cost logo on it, and I you know it's eh, whatever. I really don't care. Just open it up like that, and just drop them in there, uh, and close it up. Now you know with that you can only have whatever the limit of attachments you can fit in here. So if I want to fit in the really deep for the really high bass, I'll throw those in there, and I'll keep the ones that I normally have on, or I'll switch them out, whatever, and I'll keep them in here. Um, but yeah, they're... The quality on them is some of the best quality I've ever heard in earbuds. Uh, I have heard better quality from, you know, Bose headsets and expensive headsets, but I haven't really listened to expensive earbuds other or with expensive earbuds other than these, so I can't really honestly say that, you know, these are the best or these are the worst, you know, whatever. I do like them, however, and even if I did find a pair of earbuds that sound better than them or remotely close to them for cheaper, um, I'd probably keep them as well, wouldn't go off and sell them like most people would. Um, they are really good. A lot of people don't like Beats. I honestly think the whole Beats craze is overrated, but they are decent earbuds and you know they are something that if there's not much else around you can get them for a hundred dollars and you can listen to them and they sound okay they don't sound amazing but they, they they're not gonna kill you with the sound like the original iPod earbuds also um it's a really quick thing another set of earbuds that aren't terrible for the price, they're actually really good for the price. I love these. Um, I use these when I'm going around somewhere where I don't want to bring my Beats for whatever reason. Um, whether it be the area that I'm in is kind of sketchy or, you know, maybe I just don't want to bring my Beats that day. Um, so I bring these. These are the costs. I don't know what models these are, but they're not that hard to find. They're just little earbuds. They're like $20, I think. 20 or something. I got these for Christmas not long ago um and they're they're great i mean the quality of them sounds great not as good as the beats um but they do sound great um yep it's got all the amenities of the beats it's minus the control talk but it does have a volume slider so like if you don't want to mess with the volume on your phone because it's in your pocket while you're jogging or something, you can just touch that and bring it up or bring it down, whatever you want to do. It's not a button, it's a slider. So you have instant feedback on as to where the volume is and how much higher you can go. Um, what I like to do with things like this is I'll turn the volume all the way up on the device and I'll manage the volume with this. That way I don't have to reach in my pocket every five seconds to change the volume. Um, now, I do use both of these with my laptop as well as my iPhone 4. Um, yeah, the quality sounds just about the same coming out of both. I mean, you know, FLAC files on the uh, laptop, MP3s, really high quality MP3s might I add though, uh, on the iPhone. They sound just about the same, so there's really nothing, uh, no reason for you not to get them. But, you know, the price may be a turn-off. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you guys want me to review something, I'll see if I have it, and I'll try. Uh, that's about it. See you guys.